a remembrance of one of the nation's darkest days. President Biden is traveling to Oklahoma to mark 100 years since the Tulsa race massacre. News 8's Katie Wisely is here. And Katie, I understand there was a vigil just held this morning in honor of this. Yeah, that's right, Kylie. Good morning. Within the last hour, that vigil to remember those killed in the massacre. Speakers stating this history is bigger than just Oklahoma, but important for the entire country to learn. Take a listen. Out from the gloomy past. Now today, President Biden will meet with survivors. Biden will be the first president to be part of the remembrances of what happened in what used to be known as Black Wall Street. The president issued a proclamation calling yesterday a day of remembrance 100 years after the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. A mob killed more than 300 black Americans and burned homes, businesses, and churches. Biden has called on Americans to recommit to end systemic racism. Hundreds gathered Monday for a wall dedication outside a historic black church that was destroyed. It was rebuilt several years later, becoming a symbol of Tulsa's black community. It's a day survivors remember, like Viola Fletcher, who was seven years old at the time. 35 city blocks were destroyed and 10,000 black Tulsans were left homeless. They were killing people and burning houses. We could see people running and people laying on the ground, probably bleeding from being shot and killed. Survivors have called for restitution, but no black people who survived or their relatives have received compensation in return. Now the Democrats control the U.S. House and Senate. Some say there is hope. Now today the city of Tulsa will begin exhuming bodies, possibly linked to the crimes. There are efforts to retrieve at least a dozen sets of remains. The city and its public oversight committee plan to conduct research, commemorate the grave sites, and honor the remains. Katie Wisely, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Katie, thank you. And happening.